Welcome back to Project CL500. Um, today, got a little of a problem. Might be a big problem, might be a little problem, but we'll see. Went to drive my car and no power steering. So, I checked the fluid. It's low, so obviously I have a leak somewhere. Just don't know where. So what we're going to do is we're going to jack this car up, get up underneath it, see what we can see. Might be a leak, might not. Hopefully we don't have to replace the pump. The car didn't drop, so there's something going on. Not sure what, but we will find out. Okay, let's see. Check the dipstick. It's definitely low, so it's leaking for some place. Check the hydraulic fluid for the suspension. Thinking we should be good on that, but uh, holding this camera in one hand, I'm gonna have to check it off camera and get back to y'all. Okay, as you can see, I got the car up on the ramps, got the jacks underneath, or jack stands rather, underneath. And we're gonna get up under here and see what's going on. Usually I would use an eight millimeter socket to take these bolts off, but I misplaced mine, so I'm going to be using a 5 16 See it on the side of the car. All right. All right, we got the cover off. Um, not sure if that leak is from where I spilt some hydraulic fluid or is that an actual leak? But uh, what I'm going to do is clean all this up and see if I can see anything leaking under here. Well, as of right now, we have this leak, but I believe that's from where I spilt hydraulic fluid from. Okay, got the car running, got it cleaned off, don't see any leaks. So, I'm guessing something with the pump went bad, not 100% sure, but that's what it seems like. Yeah, you can see it's real rusty under here. There's a reason behind that. The story behind this car, I actually bought this car from a tow yard. It was a flood car. That's why so much rust underneath. But as you can see, apparently I bought it as a project car. So, hence the name Project CL500. But we will find out what's going on, why it's leaking, or what malfunction the pump has. But we'll get her done. And if I do have to replace the pump, that's not the route I'm probably going to go. I'm probably just going to replace the whole suspension and put a power steering pump on there from the S-Class and just go with the coil over suspension because I really don't feel like dealing with this ABC suspension I mean it's nice and everything but I'd rather just have the coil over so I don't have to worry about it but yeah that's pretty much it for this episode 
And like I said, this weekend I will be doing tie rods and EGR valve. But um, we'll have to see what's going on with this pump. All right, stay tuned.